In today's video, a buddy and I hit this spillway to catch some toothy fish. We're going to be throwing big jerk baits and crank baits to entice these fish into eating. Stay tuned as we cast into the waters below this dam. To start off the morning, me and Parker are throwing small baits. I am throwing a small crankbait. Parker is throwing a small jerkbait and we are both throwing natural colors. And first off, we see two guys around us both catch a muskie right off the bat. And that right there was what gave us the idea that we had a biting window. What did he catch? What is that? Tiny muskie? It's a tiny muskie. Yeah. Hey, I got one. I got a fish too. Yeah. I got a muskie. It's a small one. I'm not gonna put it in no the net though. No way. He's going ballistic. <laughs> you get the net? No. Dude. I don't want to get him tangled. Huh? I don't want to get him all tangled. Dude. You don't want to get him on the bank? I don't want to get him all tangled. Yeah. Where did you, how did yeah. you just get him? Dude. First muskie. That did not take very long. It took like, 20 minutes of fishing. It's not a big one by any means, but it is a fish. This is a new lure, guys. This is a Crane 205 bait. It was suggested by a friend to use. Sure enough, did not take very long at all whatsoever to get the first fish on it. There we go. Little musky. That is a beautiful fish though. Get that black mark on his top right there. Look at the scars on his head. I think that one right there, that little mark, that's from my my hook, but all the mother scars. That's a pretty first fish to start off the morning. Let's freaking go. Took 20 minutes. Finally got the first fish. <laughs> he hit it. He didn't hit it that hard. Got him on that crankbait. Let's go ahead and let him go. Thank you for biting, buddy. It's a pretty fish. Beautiful colors. And we've been fishing for, like I said, about 20 minutes now, and we've already seen two other muskies we've caught. Let's go, man. It's awesome. <laughs> that was such a good muskie. That, I'm so jealous. That's a nice one, dude. That's not bad. That's pretty good, dude. You like those pliers? Yeah. <laughs> nice, dude. Let's go. That was easy for you. Well, at first, I, I felt a bite. But I wasn't sure if it was just a rock or not because it wasn't that That's hard. what happened to me last time. And then you started pulling. Like, exactly. Oh, I got exa one. Dude, that's good. See, it wasn't like a crazy fight. You're just like, oh, I got one. Well, he went crazy for like 10 seconds, but that was it. Yeah, this is cool. First time using this bait, the Crane 205 crankbait. And this bait is not very big at all. So that's why I am actually throwing it on my bass slash pike setup. I got a Corrado reel, eight to five gear ratio and the 200 size throwing this on a seven foot heavy St. Croix Premier Rod. This is Power Pro Super Slick V2, 40 pound. And I got a 100 pound fluorocarbon leader that is 12 inches long. So let's freaking go. That's three muskies we've seen caught, one by us, in a matter of 10 minutes or so. Only took us about 20 to get one for ourselves. Let's get fish number two. Let's get a big one. Conditions, we had a major wind front yesterday a bunch of super high southern winds it was going crazy yesterday but today is calmed down and right now it is about 50 degrees in early february right now they still got all the floodgates open which is how it's been the past few times we've been out i'm also trying to remember the way i was working my bait i'm not really too sure i've been mixing up my cadence i've been doing just regular straight retrieves but i've also been mixing it up giving up pauses working it like a jerk bait kind of so I'm pretty much just switching back and forth between those two different types of cadences. Straight retrieve to pause and jerk. And I believe that fish ate it 
after I was doing the pause and drift and then it started to reel in straight. Granted, that was not a terrible sized fish, but it was not big by any means. Probably pushing 30 inches, high 20s, so it was a small fish, but it's definitely nonetheless a good start to the day. We can only hope to get numbers. One or two fish will be making the trip worth it, making the drive out here worth it. And we can just only hope to catch one 30, mid 30s plus. We know they're in here. They're just, they're really hard to get the big ones out of here. Me and Parker continued to throw a variety of big and small lures in different colors, such as natural shad patterns and bright chartreuse colors. After catching that first fish within the first 20 minutes, we thought for sure that we were in for another incredible day full of action. But that was not the case at all. We went on to spend the rest of the day fishing with only that first muskie to show for. Although we did not catch anything more, we did come back to this fishery just a little later in the month, and this is what happened. Dude, I got one. I could have sworn I seen something flash and then, then I pulled it up and he came back for it. He swiped at it freaking fast. I don't, there he is, right? He came back for it. I just seen him again. Maybe. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Oh my God. <laughs> what the heck? I don't, I, it felt like tension. I think he bit it. Oh, I got one. It came back for it. Uh, you don't, you don't need a net. He came back for it. You want net him? I felt some bite it. Dude. Nah, no, huh. no, I don't want to get him tangled. Dude, that's a good one. That's a tiny muskie. So Look at him. How do you always get the muskie? This is most likely the one that just missed my bait like three times. Oh. I switched lures to something a little more noisy. Sure enough, he came back. There you go. Hold your rod. There we go. First fish of the day. That is a tiny muskie, but he beautiful little so guy. Good. You smell him? Oh my god. <laughs> is he ready to go? Yeah. You ready, buddy? He's ready. Throw him in the water. Let him kick off on his own. Thank you for biting, little guy. Where's your mama at? Yeah. <laughs> Down the river. What's he doing? Oh, no. There, you go. there he goes. Dude, oh, muskie. Let's. Go. I, switched lures. I switched lures to something a little more noisy. I felt him bite my lure, set the hook, and he was right there. Just a little tater. We've been fishing for two hours now. Got one to show for it. Besides that one that came up a few different times, Parker did have one follow earlier, but that's pretty much it. We did see some other people catch a really nice one. All we got to show is that little, little tiny muskie, but let's get back at it. Hopefully get a big one. This bait right here is a jointed flat stick, bright UV paint, and I went with this color because the water is pretty dang dirty. The visibility is very low, as you can see. It's only like two feet down in the water when I barely even saw a fish eat my lure. So we're gonna keep tossing this guy around. I think the brighter the lures, the better with these conditions. So hopefully we get another one. That one was just a little guy, but we know there are some giants in here. So let's just keep casting. Hopefully end off the day on a bang.